Jesus Christ. A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and also to our fellow worshipers in other parts of the world joining us through this live stream. I want to focus once again this uh, short reflection on the first reading from the, the uh, book of Kings with this famous uh, story about Naboth and the king. How many vineyards of Naboth in the world and how many are the crimes committed in every in the name of greed I think that's easy to answer not only in families or relatives but even in relationships among nations the issue of the West Philippine Sea, for example. So big and powerful a nation encroaching a poor, small countries like ours. How do you, what do you say with that? We call it greed. The encroachment that's supposed to be a military exercise is but a, again a show of bullying and greed of a powerful nation like Russia towards Ukraine. The root of every evil is this egoistic desire of possessing things and persons. But as one author would say, but behind the possession arises actually the lack of faith, he said. Lack of faith in life and therefore in the God of life. Greed is an action ultimately against God who has given us so much and we are not owners in the ultimate analysis, in the last analysis, it is God who owns. And uh, as we have said, greed is an action against God. It is an irreligious act in as much as one forgets that every satisfaction has its root in God and the goods can be satisfaction for persons only when they are used according to the will of God by giving it by giving them freely and generously sharing them freely the Bible does not ask us to repudiate or despise things. Everything is a gift from God for our human consumption and for our happiness. But again, it has to be tempered according to the will of God that we are ultimately not the owners of whatever we have not even our life we are not owners of our life it has been given to us and it is important to realize this I knew one I know one who used to work in this uh, uh, in the municipality in charge of the what they call the that office of the uh, this uh, lands and was telling me what a sad thing to see, for example, brothers and sisters 
fighting for a piece of land instead of talking to each other they go to court and they spend I think much more than what they can get from the, the small piece of land or some relatives or brothers and sisters no, who are already successful in abroad and they come again no, against their poorer relatives claiming their own piece or part of a small property at the root cause of all this he said so many things committed if we are not careful and we are inspired or if our hearts motivated the motivation for this of course here our greed like in the story of the first reading today the king who would own so many vast tracts of land and he wanted a piece of land of a poor neighbor it's unthinkable if you are if you have to think critically but this is at times if we are not careful that we can become also victim of this greed we ask then the Lord to help us see our life as a gift and what we have as a gift and live grateful for what we have I think if we realize that we are not owners that we do not own anything at all then we can live a grateful happy life amen